Hey guys, Amanda here. Hope this finds you well. Today I wanted to share with you a few tips that I have for getting started kayak fishing. So uh, for those of you interested in um, kind of trying that out, this video is definitely for you. Uh, tip number one, uh, first and foremost, you really want to nail down the appropriate type of kayak for you, whether that means it's a sit-on-top style, an inflatable style, or a sit-in style. In general, sit-on-top sit on kayaks are a really popular choice in the kayak fishing world because it's really easy to move around and um, kind of adjust things as needed, access storage, um, as well as you're, you're a little bit higher up, so you're kind of elevated, which gives you um, the advantage of being able to see the waters a little bit better. Um, also, sit-on-top kayaks have scupper holes, which is really nice for draining water, and they're generally a little bit more stable, which can be great if you're moving on, around a lot in your kayak. Um, tip number two, after you've kind of decided on the type of kayak, you really want to nail down whether you want to paddle or pedal. So you have uh, those two options when it comes to uh, fishing kayaks before you make your boat selection. And um, number three, consider the waters that you plan on paddling and fishing in. So your short sit-on-top kayaks are going to be more ideal for small lakes and ponds or you know, rivers and streams that are narrow and kind of not going to offer a lot of room to navigate. Um, while narrower, longer kayaks will offer better performance in open waters. Um, and in the ocean, you really might want to consider a boat that offers the option to add a rudder system, which will give you a lot of increased um, navigation ability. Um, and finally, you want to decide the features that are right for you. So most of the time those will include a few fishing rod holders. Um, you definitely want to consider maybe upgrading to a more comfortable seat if you find that your the basic kayak seat that you choose isn't you know going to be the most comfortable as you'll be likely sitting for hours at a time. And also storage options as well. So if you're pretty minimalist you might just carry your tackle box, your cooler and everything on board in of itself. But if you're looking for more storage options, you also have things like tank wells, um, dry bags, and or attachable mesh pockets for stashing things that uh, you need easy access to. Um, so quickly to recap, a few tips I have um, for getting started kayak fishing. Uh, first and foremost, decide on the boat that style that's right for you, whether that be sit on top, sit in, um, inflatable, or solid. Um, Solid sit-on-top kayaks um, are a really popular choice due to their added stability and the fact that you're a little bit higher up so you have a better view of the water, um, as well as the fact it's easier to move around and really access storage, um, which can be essential when you're um, getting ready to fish or after you've caught a fish and doing all of your, your post-catch uh, procedures. So you might want something that offers a little bit more space to move around. Uh, next, decide upon whether you would like a boat that you pedal or paddle. So that really comes down to personal preference. Um, either one will do. You might want to uh, talk to fishermen in your area and, and see what they maybe recommend depending on you know the waters and what their experience has been. Um, next, uh, you want to consider the waters you plan on paddling. Um, so typically your shorter sit-on-top kayaks are going to be best in narrower, uh, slow-moving streams and ponds and lakes, um, as well as rivers that uh, don't allow you a lot of like room to navigate around in um, but for um, open water you definitely want to consider something narrower that tracks a little bit better to give you um, kind of able to cover a little more distance and uh, keep your kayak on course um, so uh, finally in the open ocean definitely consider a kayak with a rudder system or the ability to put in a rudder system as that will just give you a really big a navigation advantage um, due to the fact that the ocean's waters are going to be constantly moving. Um, and finally, you want to decide on the features that are right for you. So typically this means uh, rod holders um, and, and storage options are going to be your main things. Um, storage options being things 
that you bring on board if you're really minimalist, so room for a cooler, um, a tackle box, etc. Or if maybe you want to consider like a tank well, uh, utilizing dry bags as much as possible. And even I've seen a lot of kayak fishers um, install mesh pockets to uh, the inside of their kayak where they can um, stash things they need easy access to that don't need, you know, any waterproofing, anything like that. And finally, consider your comfort too, because you will likely be sitting for an extended period of time so a comfortable seat will definitely make a huge difference in your experience so those are the tips I have for you to get started kayak fishing um, I hope you found those helpful I'd love to hear if you have any additional tips or perhaps if there's one that really stood out for you and any general feedback as always is um, welcomed and definitely encouraged uh, for you to leave in the comments below. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like connecting with other outdoor enthusiasts, you should definitely consider checking out Summit. Summit is a social network that brings together adventure junkies from all around the world to exchange stories, share advice, and inspire each other. You might even make some new friends too. It's kind of like Facebook for outdoorsy people, but with better privacy, no ads, no spam, and tons of extras. You can join Summit by going to summit.theadventurejunkies.com or by clicking the link in the description below. You can find me in Summit too, so be sure to say hi when you join.